Malone, who's one of the uh, apostolic leaders across our state, called and said, I really feel like the Lord's saying we need to have 10 days of glory over our state based on a word that Chuck Pierce had heard in regards to securing a glory road throughout the state of Florida so that God's purposes could go forward and um, that he was creating a government in the earth that would shake things in a new way. And I'm working on both the heavens and the earth. There's more to that uh, prophetic declaration. But Ken had felt like we needed to do 10 days of glory starting on January 20th to the 30th. And I said, we'll take inauguration day here in the capital city of Florida because I felt so strongly as we're releasing 10 days of glory that God was going to do something today as our nation shifted in power, not about Republican or Democrat, but about God's purposes in this hour of history. And I know most of you guys probably didn't get to see the inauguration today, but let me tell you something. The name of Jesus Christ was glorified high today. And he was honored and praised in prayer and in the word of the Lord that was uh, declared as Donald Trump and Mike Pence took the oath of office. And I, I just wanted to share one of the things before we go into worship tonight. Mike, uh, Mike Pence was sworn into office first. And this man loves the Lord Jesus Christ and is a warrior for Jesus Christ. And he had his Bible open to 2 Chronicles seven fourteen, which talks about if my people will humble themselves. And in, it was so powerful and so fitting that he would do that and then have his hand on Ronald Reagan's Bible. And then Donald Trump got up to uh, be sworn in and he had his Bible, um, Lincoln's Bible, and then the Bible that his mother gave him when he graduated from Sunday school. And he's probably one of the least likely people when we looked at the beginning of this election to be elected, but I believe wholeheartedly he was God's man for this hour. And as he stood up to be sworn in, the rain began to fall and you began to see rain begin to hit him. And it was, it was actually as, as I was watching that, I remembered the songs that we had sung over Sol in solemn assemblies with Lou Engel and the call and how we had cried out to God to send a rain to America and how we had said, open the floodgates of heaven, let it rain, let it rain, send the rain. And I felt like it was just the Lord moving. And Franklin Graham got up after uh, Donald Trump was sworn in and he said, Mr. President, in the Bible, rain is a sign of God's blessing. And it started to rain, Mr. President, when you came to the platform, said Franklin Graham. And it's my prayer that God will bless you, your family, your administration, and may he bless America. And then he shared in scripture and shared um, just the love of the Lord. And I felt like it was so fitting tonight on inauguration day that we would cry out and declare at this 10 days of glory for the Lord to come and send his glory to our state and to our nation. And so tonight what we're gonna do is we're gonna worship Jesus because he's worthy. And then there'll be a time that I come up and we'll have a time of prayer. And I just wanna kind of give some, some, uh, some points now and then throughout the night we'll talk about this. But we wanna see the glory of the Lord released in our state. And we wanna declare that. God, yes, we declare your glory road is in this state from the Keys all the way up to Tallahassee, to Jacksonville, to Pensacola, that we see a glory road in this state. And we want to declare that tonight. So even in worship, we're declaring King of glory, come in, rule and reign. Have your glory road established in our state. And we wanted to go deep in worship and in intercession. And we want to declare the glory of the Lord over our state, over the church in Florida. We're declaring God's purposes. His government rules our state and our nation. And we just say, Lord, come and bring healing to our state. And you know, we've had two shootings, mass shootings in Florida in less than the last nine months. And we want to declare and take authority over any demonic principalities and cast them out of our state and say no more in the name of Jesus and declare that any spirit of Islam is broken off of our state. We want to release angels of protection over our state. We're declaring warring angels, even as today, the enemy wanted to bring destruction to the inauguration into our nation's capital. And every plan of the enemy was stopped. The protesters, it was just, it was so amazing to watch how God did what God did. 
and protected our leaders in D.C. And we want to declare awakening is here in our state. We've been declaring that in our capital city for the last two and a half years saying awakening is here and awakening is coming. And I feel like right now with this 10 days of glory, the Lord is just preparing us and, and to just declare and to see heaven open over the state of Florida. And across the state tonight and throughout these 10 days, people are going to be decreeing his word. We're going to decree the kingdom of the Lord and his will be done. I want to read Matthew 6:10 as we start and just decree his purposes. And throughout the, the uh, entire state, worship is going on. Throughout the cities, they're declaring that Jesus rules and reigns. And I want to de just decree Matthew 6, 10. the verse 10 declaration give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors do not lead us into temptation but deliver us from the evil one for yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever amen let's just stand and 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 i just as as you know i, I just i'm even um, i'm going to read that again and then i'm going to pray and I want you to know that throughout the night, we're going to worship. We're going to have two different worship teams that be worshiping. You can stand. You can worship. You can walk around the room. There's the maps here in Florida. Um, lay hands across the state of Florida and the United States of America. But tonight is a night that we're saying it's a new beginning. 2017 is the year of breakthrough. And we've seen a new administration sworn into our nation tonight. And we just declare a glory road is being released in Florida. So, Father God, we love you. And, Lord, even as we've read your word, I want to read it again, Jesus, and ask you to come. And we declare your glory road tonight is being established across our state and that the church in Florida and across the United States of America, that we will stay awake. We will stay on the wall of intercession over our state, over our nation, over our leaders, Lord, that you will come and do what only you can do, Lord. Awaken hearts. Send a great awakening, Lord. You said to declare. Awakening is here and awakening is coming and tonight we declare it. Release your glory road. Oh, Father, our Father in heaven, how would be your name? Your kingdom come. Your will be done as it is in heaven. We declare that over Florida and over the United States of America tonight. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. We declare that over Florida. Deliver us from the evil one. And Lord, tonight we declare it's all about you, Jesus. Come and have your way as we worship and lift your name high tonight in worship. And standing in intercession, Lord, we declare your glory. Release your glory. For yours is the kingdom. And yours is the power and the glory forever. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's just worship the King of glory because he's worthy.
shoulder, don't forget You put that ring upon my finger You put that robe upon my back You put your arms around me, say You are my son, my daughter, don't forget Smiling, he's 
Shout your name over us. Shout your name, 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 oh.
this hour of history and this year of breakthrough. And as his people shout, God, come show us your glory. Establish your glory road in our state. God, all the way up to Washington, D.C. Lord, even as they prayed in D.C. for us last night at the Justice House of Prayer, that from Florida to our nation's capital, we have been connected and we are connected more because you rule, you reign, and you are the one that establishes your glory. And Lord, you are the one that comes and pours out your glory. And tonight we cry out for Florida. Come in this 10 days of glory. Show us your glory. If you want to pray and declare the word of the Lord and the glory of the Lord right now, over our state, just begin to line up for rapid fire prayer and declarations for the glory of the Lord. If you're not used to praying on the mic, just do it anyway. And just begin to declare the word of the Lord. Lord, we declare your word tonight. God, just as they cried out, show us your glory, Lord. We're saying, establish your glory road in, in Florida, across our state. God, as we declare this in the capital city of this state. God, we declare awakening is here and awakening is coming. And God, that you said, Florida has to bow before you. We have to see your glory across this state. And God, that you're about to do it in the United States of America. An awakening from the East Coast to the West Coast, the West Coast to the East Coast. And we release that now in the name of Jesus over Florida. God, come establish a glory road. Let this be the days of glory. Not just this few days, but Lord, that we are beginning right now to see a turning, a turning. Once again, that we will bow before you and we will give you the glory that you are due. We say, Jesus, you are glorious. You are the glorious one. We shout that you are the glorious one. And we hear you shout it back. Yes, I am. I am the king of glory. And Lord, we declare that tonight. We love you and we receive your love right now. King of glory, release your glory in this place. Father, we ask that you would glorify your son in America. We say that all of the nations belong to Jesus. They're his rightful inheritance. So we ask you, Father, out of America, would you give your son the fullness of his inheritance? We ask that eyes would be open and hearts would turn to him and receive him, God. We ask that you would release in, in your church a holy heart that longs to love you, God, that prays, that seeks your face, that grows in love day after day and calls that true success, God. Would you release the fullness of your kingdom here, we pray in Jesus' name. Have your way, oh God. Have your way, Lord. Come, oh God. Lord, we thank you, Father, so much, oh Lord, for the victory, Lord God. Lord, use your servant, oh God. Oh Lord, let your truth march on, oh God, in this nation, oh God. Break through in the United States of America. Oh God, we thank you, God. Today is a glorious day, oh God. Your people are happy. We are in expectation, oh God, of your perfect will to be done. baptize America and the nations with your water, and then you baptize America and the nations with your fire in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You say in Proverbs uh, 16.3, commit your works to the Lord and your plans will be established. So we commit our works to the Lord. We ask that you pour out a blessing upon this country. We humbly come to you. Pour out your grace. Glorify us, Lord. Thank you for everything that you've in our lives, Lord. Thank you for letting us be a light. And may the light just, just spread across America, Lord. Let us shine brighter than, brighter than any star, Lord. We just come to you tonight, Lord. We thank you in advance for turning the tides tonight, God. We have faith that you can do anything and everything, God. We thank you for restoration in America. We thank you for restoration in Florida, God. We pray 
pray that these people's hearts would just be turned to you, God. You pour out your, your relentless love on them, God. Show them your power. Show them your mercy. Show them your grace, God. Show them what true love feels like. Take them from their depths, wherever they may be, and just rescue them. Reach out of heaven, God, and just pull them to where you want them to be, God. We pray for restoration, that you just break these chains. Lord, free us from the lies, God. Just turn our hearts to you and make us fall head over heel, head over heels in love for you, God. We thank you every day for what you've done, God. I just plead the blood of Jesus over America today, God. There's power in your name and there's power in your blood, Lord. We're so thankful every day that you loved us enough to save us from our sins and bring us to where we are. We love you. Encourage the faith of your people tonight. We ask you to uh, hold, your, hold your people hostage to that vision of the weight of your glory, Father. Grip us and hold us with the weight of that. I just want to agree and declare that the angels of abundant harvest have been released. They've been released in this new season. Thank you, Father God. We declare the best is yet to come, and we're part of it. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Isaiah 45, as we're we're still, you just shout the name of the Lord, that he's shouting his name over us, and we're, we're just responding to him as he's shouting his name over us. And as we were praying for just his glory to be released, I want us to pray even tonight with the new administration, with President Trump. And as we were praying, I was reminded with the, with the, the, the weight of Florida, if I had to say that, that there's been so many prophetic words over Florida being a forerunner state to the nation for awakening and declaring his glory road and all the different words, uh, so many things in Florida. And our, uh, our governor is the 45th governor of our state. And our president, Donald Trump, is the 45th president. And I want to read some of Isaiah 45. And I, uh, I declared this over our governor at, when he was inaugurated the first time. I was able to pray over him and declare this, and I'm just declaring it tonight because I feel like as I read this, that there's a just a um, just something that's happening because you see a businessman that had never run that that ended up being our governor, who's actually turned out to be the strongest pro-life governor and has signed the strongest pro-life laws that were passed under his tender, and he's got two more years to go. And here we're starting today with the 45th president. In Isaiah 45, and then what I want us to do, as soon as I finish reading this, um, with verse 8, I want us to begin to line up and just to declare over our governor and over the new president, God's word will go forth. We've had a tough year in Florida, and we need this year to look different than this last year, and that God would begin to move, but that the, the Isaiah 45 
with these two leaders in our state and our nation that there is such a, a connection. So just begin to just begin to hear this and begin to line up and pray over our governor and our president in this new hour of history. Isaiah 45, thus says the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have held, to subdue nations before him and to loose the arm, armor of kings, to open before him the double doors so that the gates will not be shut. I will go before you and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of bronze and cut the bar bars of iron. I will give you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places that you may know that I, the Lord, who called you by your name and the God of Israel. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, my elect, I have even given you by your name. I have named you, though you have not known me. I am the Lord, and there is no other. There is no God besides me. I will gird you, though you have not known me, that they may know from the rising of the sun to its setting, that there is none besides me. I am the Lord and there is no other. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create calamity. I, the Lord, do all these things. Rain down, you heavens from above, and let the skies pour down righteousness. Let the earth open. Let them bring forth salvation and let righteousness spring up together. I, the Lord, have created it. Just begin to line up to pray over our leadership, over this new administration. We should be standing in the gap, just as Franklin Graham said today in reading the word of the Lord. We need to be praying for our leaders. So I want you guys to line up and let's just wrap it for our prayer over both the, the, the 45th governor and the 45th president that God's gonna move from Florida to the White House and then across this nation for his purposes. Would you guys just begin to cry out to God and line up? Thus says the Lord. God, thus says the Lord. That's what your word, you're speaking here. You're the one that is saying you've raised up leaders. God, you raised up Cyrus, an instrument in your hand. And God, as we stand here tonight and look at our nation, God, here you are, you do utterly astounding things. And here we are, God, with the 45th governor of the great state of Florida and the 45th president of the United States. Two men that you look and say, God, they're businessmen, what are you doing? And yet, Lord, you have chosen these two. And here we stand from Florida to Washington, D.C., declaring your word asking you to come, oh God, give wisdom to these leaders, to our governor, as he leads the year to our president, our new president, sworn in today. God, that you would give him wisdom. There's no way he can lead this nation unless he gets on bended knee and hears you shout your name over him. And God, that's where the church, we, your people, your people, Lord, have got to stand in the gap for godly government. For Florida, for our leaders here, for our governor, our speaker of the house, our senate president, our, our supreme court justices. And God, we stand in the gap over our president, our vice president, our members of the house and senate, our U.S. supreme court justices. And Lord, that you're going to speak the right name into Donald Trump's heart for the next Supreme Court justice that will declare life over America. And God, tonight in these 10 days of glory starting, we cry out from Florida to Washington, D.C. Come and move, oh God. We declare rain down you heavens from above. Lord, open up the heavens and rain down your presence. In Jesus' name, open the heavens and rain down. Just begin to cry out.
may ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place, he who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive blessings from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation, this is Jacob, the generation of, of those who seek him, who seek your face. Abba, Lord, today your people, God, we are humbled, O oh God, for we know, O oh God, that all of us, all of us have sinned against you. God, but it is so awesome, God, that there is a new beginning, O oh God, for Donald Trump, O oh God, and also for your nation. You have turned your face towards us, O oh God. You had mercy on us, and once again, we, could, we can look up to you and call you Abba. Father, thank you for having mercy on this nation. This is a new beginning. Today, O oh God, we lift up our heads, O oh God, because we know, O oh Lord, that you are, you are the King of glory. And this is a moment, O oh God, when we're looking up and we are, O oh God, hope with hope, hope filled with hope, knowing God that now, now, today, it's a beginning, it's a beginning to glorify your name, to exalt your name in this nation, oh God, to declare, Lord, that you are the King of glory. Lift up your heads, O oh, you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O oh, you gates, lift up your everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in into the United States of America. Yes, who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, He is the King of glory. from you and to be obedient to you and um, we just pray for your presence over them and that they would do what you ask them to do in perfect obedience in Jesus Father we come to you thankful tonight so thankful and we pray for your anointed ones we pray for your anointed country father a country that was founded on your principles, Father, and will continue on your principles. Lord, we pray right now in the name of Jesus for Donald Trump, our governor, our vice president, Lord, that they would find that secret place, Lord. They would find that secret place and seek you and abide under your shadow, Lord. Find refuge in your name, Lord. Find a strong tower in your name, Lord, and guard this country, Lord. We know that they're for a purpose, Lord. They're there for a reason, Lord, and we stand behind them, Lord. We stand behind our leadership, and most important, we lift you up. We stand behind you, Lord. We stand behind your principles. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, and we maintain a posture of reverence, Lord, a posture of thankfulness, Lord, and a posture of obedience. In Jesus' name. Surely a salvation is near to those who fear him, that glory may dwell in your land. Mercy and truth have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. Yes, the Lord will give what is good. Lord, I just pray for your hedge of protection around Donald Trump and our governor, Lord God. I pray that their ears are open to your truth and your mercy, Lord God. They will be led by mercy and truth in Jesus' name. engraved in letters on stone came with the glory so that the Israelites could not look steadily at the face of Moses because of its glory transitory though it was will not the ministry of the spirit be even more glorious if the ministry that brought condemnation was glorious how much more glorious is the ministry that brings righteousness for what was glorious has no glory now in comparison with the surpassing glory and if what was transitory came with glory, how much greater is the glory that which lasts. Therefore, since we have such a hope, we are very bold. We are not like Moses, who put a veil over his face to pretend, prevent the Israelites from seeing the end of what was passing away, but their minds were made dull. For to this day, the same veil remains. When the old covenant is read, 
It has not been removed because only in Christ is it taken away. Even to this day, when Moses is read, a veil covers their hearts. But whenever anyone turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And we all, who with unveiled faces contemplate the Lord's glory, are being transformed into His image. With ever-increasing glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit.
take this life and breathe on This heart that is now yours You can have it all You can have it all Every part of my world So take this life
Marvelous are your works, you have delivered us.
For from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. of it all you are worthy of it all for from you are all things and to you are all things you deserve the glory
love you. And Lord, we just wanna, we just wanna sit at your feet the rest of this night and just, just give you honor and glory. Oh, we declare day and night, night and day, let incense arise.
great song to end tonight on. Yeah. <laughs> Catch the wind. Lord, we love you. We love you. It's been all about you tonight, Jesus, lifting your name high. And Lord, we thank you for just pouring out your glory. And we're seeing you move across our state and across our nation. And we stand in awe of you. Oh, Lord, we want to be ones that will just live on that mountain's edge and know that you will cause us to be able to just soar like the eagle and catch the wind of the Holy Spirit and that you will lead us, Lord. And Lord, we love you and we thank you for this day of new beginnings and a day of your glory being poured out. And God, we ask you, let us continue to stand in the gap, praying for our state and declaring the days of glory that a glory road is in our state and in our nation and that we are seeing awakening happening right now and we thank you lord in jesus name amen thank you worship team thank you guys